When you say he pulled up, who are you referring to? Um, Kevin. Is that the defendant you identified in court? Yes. Can you tell us what happened after he pulled up? Um, he just talked and he said, hey, do you want to go get some dinner, something to eat? And um, I said, I already ate dinner, celebrated um, dinner with Renee. And um, I said, um, something mentioned coffee. I said, sure, coffee. And um, for some reason, I wasn't afraid. I mean, I didn't think anything. So I don't, I don't know if I'm rambling or answering your question. You're answering my question. Okay. That's why I asked you to tell us what yeah. happened. But first, let me ask a follow-up. Um, um, when you say that he pulled up, mm -hmm. um, did, he, did he call you over? I think so, you know. And did you recognize him from your oh, prior yeah. interactions? Oh, yeah. Do you remember what type of car he was in? Yes. What type of car was he in? It was a Hummer. Was it the same Hummer that you had ridden in before? Yes. Was it the same Hummer that he had been driving each time that you had seen him? Yes. So then, when you walked over to him, uh, were you talking to him at the side of his window? Yes. Did he ever get out of the Hummer? Never. Never. So did he appear to be friendly and kind at that moment? Yes, but there was a lot of moments before that. And it was like four months from that period. And he never showed that side again. So you're saying that the time that he yeah. offered you the $50 may have been about four months before that? Yes, it was a long period in between. Okay. So, so when he offered you uh, dinner, you declined. But then when he offered you coffee, you said yes? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. <laughs> so did you know where you were going to go? No, no, I thought we were going to go close, like to Denny's, which was just around the corner. Is there a Denny's that's located right on Encinitas Boulevard? Around Not the corner? anymore, it's closed, but it's there then. As of May of last year? Yes. Um, are there any other coffee shops that are around there? You mentioned Captain Kino's. Um, there's Captain Kino's. Um, I think Starbucks was staying open, you know, later at that time. And so I thought we were going to go to places like that. Then I realized it was later, and I think, you know, but I'll let you, I'm sorry, I'm going ahead of myself. No, that's okay. So let's, let's talk about that. What time, about what time of night was this? Um, it was later. I don't know because I didn't look at the time. I know it was dark. You know, I know it's probably past 8 o'clock. Sometime a little after 8 o'clock? Mm -hmm. uh, after 8 o'clock or so. Um, so let, let me ask you, after you said yes to getting coffee, what did you do? Um, I told my friends, you know, they didn't seem to have any qualms, you know. And I forgot I left my phone with my friend. And I grabbed my bags and um, hopped in the car. Did you get in the front passenger seat of his Hummer? Yes. Was there anybody else that was in the car with you and him? No. So where did you go? Um, well, I, um, I thought we were going to stop at Denny's, and he just kept on going and going and going and going and going and going, and it, it seemed darker, and I said, the car, is there anything open at this time? Then make, said, sure, well, make sure you keep your voice up, but, okay? But I started getting nervous when I was asking him simple questions and he wasn't answering them. Like just simple questions, where do you work out? What kind of work you do? You know, stuff like that. He'd say, um, he said, no, I, I can't. It was just, I can't remember how he said or put it. Then that, that seemed odd to me. And, so, um, so, if I may, let me ask you another question, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. You mentioned that he was driving. Did he drive past the Denny's and not stop? Mm -hmm, the Denny's. Did he and drive just, past the other coffee shops that you thought he might be going to? Yes. Do you yeah. remember what direction he was traveling on what street? Yeah, he was, um, he was from, from Vulcan to Anthony's Boulevard to El Camino Real and just kept on going and going. Does El Camino Real, let me ask you, does El Camino um, Real then turn into Manchester when yes. it starts to curve down towards the lagoon? Yes. So when, he, when you were talking to him, you mentioned that you started to get a little bit concerned yeah. because he wasn't answering your questions. Is that right? Yes. 
So what was it about the way he was acting towards you that caused you to be concerned? He wasn't just, it was just simple questions. You know, I just, I just thought it was odd. And he was never like that before. And, um, and, um, and I just, and then I asked them, where are we going? Are we going to, um, are we going to Via de la Valle off Del Mar? Because that's the only place I thought was open. You know, is there, I didn't, let me ask you, is there also uh, a Denny's that you know of that's on Via de la Valle? Yes, yeah, so I thought that's where he might have been going. Or he could have went to, that's what I was thinking, because the freeway's over there. And I started, and that's when I started getting ner a little nervous. You know? What did he say when you asked him if he was taking you down to Del Mar? Did he said, know? yeah, yeah, that's where we're going. Did he ever say anything else to you while you were driving along and started to get concerned? Do you remember? I can't remember. Ms. Doe, just take a moment. Right. Are you doing okay? No, sorry. Do you need to take a break? Just take a deep breath. I want, to, I want to ask you a question about what happened after you were driving down El Camino Real towards Manchester. You mentioned that it was nighttime, right? Yeah, it was dark. There's no cars around. There's nobody around. I'm going to ask you to keep your voice up. Did you say that it was dark and there were no cars around? Nobody. Yeah, no cars around. Nobody was even at the gas station. There's always people at the gas station. It was just, yeah. Well, when you were in his vehicle along with him and it was dark and there were no cars around, were you beginning to grow afraid? I, th I think, um, I don't know if I was growing, I was a little concerned. I was starting to get a little concerned. So then what happened as you were starting to get a little concerned? Um, he just turned his vehicle around and, um, and, uh, Where did he take his vehicle when he turned it around? It was, um, it was, it was off of Manchester, past, past the gas station, past where cars are. I don't, um, I don't know exactly. Did he pull uh, over at any point? Mm -hmm. It was just very dark there. What time? No, that is that, when you asked if he pulled over, you said, mm -hmm. do you mean yes by that answer? Yeah, yes, Okay. Sir. I'm sorry, yes. I just have to make sure that yes, the record sir. is clear. Yes, that's when I started getting really scared. And uh, listen, I know this is very difficult for you. I'm just going to ask you again to keep your voice up so all the jurors, all the way to the very end of the jury box can okay. hear you, okay? I just don't like this microphone. Well, it's going to help you so they can hear you. So, so Ms. Doe, I'm going to ask as best you can if you ignore the microphone in front of you and, and look at me, and we'll be able to talk about this, okay? Take a deep breath. When he turned his vehicle around and he stopped and pulled over, do you remember what type of place he pulled over to, like what the ground um, was? It just, you know, it's green. And then I, I remember like, it seemed like white, not white, um, tan, you know, a lot of light. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's not grass. I don't know what you call it. Is it along, I, the, is it along the edge of the lagoon? Yeah. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's far as the lagoon. I don't. I didn't think we were. Okay. And what was on the floor underneath the car where he stopped? Which, I think it was. It was, it was probably on dirt. I don't know because I couldn't see. I never. Got out of the car fully. Right. So then tell me what happened after he pulled over to the side of that road and parked. Um, he got out of the car and started coming around. Did he say anything to you when he got out of the car? I, I can't remember, but I locked the door and he had the keys. Why did you lock the door in that moment after because he got out Because I knew of the car? he was coming after, he was coming over to me. What did you think he was going to do? I don't, you know. You know, rape me, I guess, you know. Were you afraid that he was going to assault you at that moment? 
I was just scared. I thought it was the end of my life. What was it about where you were and what he had been doing that caused you to think that was the end of your life? I don't know why. I just was scared. So after you locked the door, you mentioned he had the keys. He How had do you the know keys he had the keys? Because he unlocked it. I'm sorry? He unlocked it. When did you see him unlock the doors? Um, you just, you know. And you just took your right hand and you gestured in front of you, pressing his thumb on a button. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yes. Is that what he did? Did you see him do that outside the window? Did you, is that what he did? Yes. All right, next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Did you see him do that outside your window? No, it was like, it was, he was coming around the car when he did it. When he came alongside the car, oh. was he standing outside of the passenger door where you were seated? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Just as best you can, I know it's difficult, but just tell us what happened after he came over to the side of the passenger door where you were. Um, I, I, I can't remember. I just, you know, I know he opened the door. I don't know. I don't think I, um, and, um, he like held me, grabbed my arms, and um, I, don't, I don't know what else he said, but we're, he says we're gonna have sex. And I said, please don't do this. And um, I said it about four times, and um, something like, uh, it's a done deal, you know, and. Um, so Ms. Doe, let me ask you about that. So uh, when you say that you said, Please don't do this. You think you said that about four times? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. I you, begged him. You took your hands when you said that he grabbed you by the arms. Mm -hmm. You extended them in front of you. Um, as though I you, just know they were held. Okay. Uh, when you say they were held, you're clasping your hands together. Did he actually place his hands on your forearms and hold your arms together? He, he held my hands together. I don't, yeah. Did he attempt to pull you? I can't remember, you know. Um, Were you saying, please don't do this when he grabbed you by the arms? Yes. When you, uh, when you said the phrase, it's a done deal, who said that? He did. Other than him saying, we're going to have sex and it's a done deal, did you, do you remember him saying anything else in that moment? I don't know. I'm I, sure he did, but, you know. <laughs> Were you afraid? Yes. When he grabbed you by the arms like that, um, did, did he pull you out of the car or push you or anything? Uh, it's like I pulled, I don't know, you know. Did you try to try to break free from when he was holding you? Um, no, I was just, you know, just kind of, you know, just saying, please don't do this, you know. After you were saying, please don't do this, what did he do? I guess he walked, I don't know if he walked around the other side of the car to get undressed, I don't know. Okay, make sure you keep your voice up, okay? okay. Next question. Um, Let me ask you um, this. When he came over to your side of the car, mm -hmm. he grabbed you by the wrist, mm -hmm. was he wearing clothing? Yes. Do you remember what he was wearing? I just remember black. And do you remember if it was a black shirt, black pants, or, or I, th it was, I, I think it was pants and shirt. I don't know. And when he grabbed you by the wrist, what did he end up doing? Um, you know, I, I really, I can't remember. I can't remember if he went around the other side of the car. He could have went around the other side of the car to get dressed. Um, was there a point in time when he took his clothes off, though? Um, he never took his shirt off. Did he uh, expose himself at some point? If he did, I, I try not to look. You know? Tell us what he actually did on the side of the car when you were in the passenger seat. Um, well, he had me take my pants off, and um, and pulled me on from this. Seat, 
and and started to, you know, and. Um, so Ms. Bill, I have to ask you, when you say that you started to, you know, what did he actually do? You know, started to rape me. And. Um, what did he actually physically do? Uh, started, you know, put it, you have to say exactly. If you can. You know, you know, put his penis inside my vagina, you know, and. Um, Other than saying, please don't do this, do you remember saying anything else to him? Um, I don't remember. When he put himself inside of you, did, do you remember if he was erect when he first? I don't know because I won't look. Can you tell us what you were feeling when he did that? Um, it was painful. What do you mean when you say it was painful? It was painful. Did it hurt you? Yes. Do you remember saying anything? No. Was he still holding you by the arms? I, don't, I can't remember what he was doing. I just kept my eyes closed. Did you try to push him off of you? No. I was afraid of him. Why didn't you try to push him off? Because he's a super big guy. You mentioned earlier that you asked him you know, where he works out. Was there a particular reason that you asked him? I don't know, because I've been talking to him for six months. I was just making conversation. Was he a pretty big guy? Is that yes. 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 Okay. Thank you, Ron. Did he appear muscular to you? Yes. Was he strong in the way that he grabbed your arms? Um, I, I can't remember. You, know. you mentioned that you were feeling pain when he was inside of you. Mm -hmm. and do you remember if you had tried to stop him as he was beginning to penetrate you vaginally in um, some way? I don't, I can't remember. I don't, I don't think so because I was afraid. I didn't think there's no way out, you know. So. What was it about where you were and what he was doing that caused you to think that there was no way out? I just knew there was no way out. What did you think was going to happen? I thought it was my last night. Did you think that he was going to hurt you? Is that a yes? Yes. Was he hurting you in the way that he raped you? Yes. Do you know how long that lasted when he was I don't know. That? I don't know. He had me turn around backwards on the on the car and, and hang out. So, and, and, so and initially, my, is it fair to say that you were facing him and he was on top? At first, yeah. He wasn't on top, top. He was like that. Was he, uh, did he have his feet on the outside of the vehicle? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Were you facing each other chest to chest in, in a sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Initially? But, yeah, but not. When you say that he turned you around in the vehicle, uh, can you just tell us physically where he touched you and what he did? Um, he just had me turn around and um, um, face the other way, standing on the outside of the vehicle, and proceeded to, you know, um, Do you remember, when you say that he proceeded, do you remember what he did after he turned you around and now was behind you? And what was behind me, I only saw for a little bit. Like I'm, really, I'm but just asking, I, I don't know if you heard me correctly, I, okay. what he then did when he was behind you. What he did, he um, put his penis in my vagina and then he, um, I guess he tried to do it anally. So tell us what happened when you said I, I screamed. And um, then he picked me up, pulled me up, put me on the seat. And um, so Ms. Dillow, I know it's difficult to talk about. Had my, his hands around my throat up here. And you're taking right, both like your this. hands across both your neck. Hands, yes. So um, let me stop well, you one moment. Yeah. Just take a moment. I know uh, it's hard. 
here's what I need to ask you. When he was continuing to penetrate you vaginally from behind, mm -hmm. you just mentioned a moment ago that he tried to uh, penetrate you anally. Is that right? Yeah. Did you actually feel him put his penis inside your anus? All I know is it hurt. When you say that it hurt, uh -huh. did you scream? Yes. And do you remember what you screamed? I just screamed. Was it loud? Yes. Why did you scream? Because it was painful. Prior to that moment when he put his penis in your anus, had you screamed or yes. yelled? Uh, sustained. It has not been established yet. Okay. So the uh, uh, you can rephrase. I will. When when he tr when he caused you that pain, did you feel that pain in your anus? Yes. Did you feel his penis penetrate your anus? I'm not sure how far it was. All I know is it hurt. Okay. Did that cause you to scream? Yes. Prior to that, did you, had you scream or yell? No. When you screamed, was that when he placed his hands around your throat in the way that you just described? Yes. So strong that I couldn't even speak. It was my, it was my voice box. I was talking funny. I was, and I said, he told me if I scream. He'll choke me to death or murder me. I don't know what it was. I said, if you don't hurt me, I won't scream. All right, and the record reflected that the witness put her hand up around her neck, underneath her chin, with her thumb on one side of her neck and the other four no, fingers. Okay, now the witness is demonstrating both hands around I her neck. I don't know just how. Ma'am, just oh, a moment. I'm sorry. You're making a motion I have to describe for the record, so if okay. somebody reads it, they're able to understand okay. what you're describing. Okay. So the witness now put both hands around her neck with the thumb on one side of her neck and the four fingers on the other, doing the same with the other hand, demonstrating both hands around the neck, right underneath her chin. All right, and again, I'm gonna, I know this is very difficult for you. I'm going to ask that you try and keep try and keep your voice up. Okay. okay that microphone there, I turned it all the way up, um, and it's a speaker here in the courtroom. It goes right down to the court reporter. Okay. And the speaker is in the jury box, but the last juror at the very end needs to hear what you're saying. Okay. okay. So please try and keep your voice up. Okay. All right. Next question. Thank you. Now, when he placed his hands around your neck, did he squeeze? All I know is it hurt. You mentioned that you were talking funny or you were unable to talk. And talk. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. When he placed his hands around your neck, did he squeeze your neck um, so hard that you couldn't breathe? I, I could. I, I was, it was hard to breathe. You mentioned that he then said something to you while he, he had his hands around your neck. What was it that he said to you? If you, if you scream, I don't know if it was choke you to death or I'll murder you. Did you believe he was going to kill Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now, what did you say to him after he said, if you scream, I will murder you, or something to that effect? What did I do? What I did was, you say back to him? I just said, if you don't hurt me, I won't scream. What did he do after you told him? Um, he, he proceeded, you know, to have me come, uh, come back on the car where I was turned the other way, you know, facing inside the car, and proceeded, you know. Did he continue to rape you after you said that? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? And, yes, and I just put my head down on the bottom of the car and just, you know, I just was waiting for it to be over. Was it still painful? Yes. When you put your head down, did he have his hands on you in any way? I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember. Was he saying anything else to you? I don't remember if he did or not. I probably said, I don't know. I probably, you know. Um, and I know when he was done, um, he ejaculated away from me outside.
Uh, of the vehicle. So how do you know that he ejaculated away from the vehicle? Because, I don't know. I looked for it because he walked away for a second, so I think I looked. And then what happened after he stopped and then ejaculated outside the vehicle? Um, he asked me to put my pants on, um, came around the seat, um, put a coat on and a, a, a sweatshirt like the hoodie thing put over his head he had like some kind of emblem there and was just he wouldn't even look at me anymore he just looked straight ahead and um let me ask you Ms. Dill yeah after he told you to put your pants on did you get back into the car I never left the car were you in it the entire time yes. that this was happening? Yes. When he turned you over, were you uh, halfway in, halfway out? Yes. Now, did he close the door when you were still in the car after he had raped you he, he the way you described? He could have. Okay. I don't, you know, I, I, he could have. So then tell me when you're describing uh, the way he put the hood over his head and he wouldn't mm -hmm. talk to you. Mm -hmm. Did he get back into the vehicle? He was back in the vehicle, hood looking straight forward, forward, his hood on. So it had some kind of emblem on there. It looked like he put something under his sweatshirt. What do you mean when you say that, that it looked, looked like It looked like there was something under his sweatshirt. <coughs> what do you mean? What did you think he may have under his sweatshirt? I don't know, but the gun and I, I didn't, I didn't know. What were you I thinking? thought it was the end of my life. When you say that you thought it was the end of your life, now that he had raped you in the way that you described, mm -hmm. what did you think he was going to do? I thought, I thought it was the end of my life. Did he say anything more to you? Um, just put my clothes on. Um, I don't know if he said it like we were driving away. Um, he first, I don't know if he said it before he was driving towards like apartment complex or after. Um, I'm kind of confused about the time frame. He said, if you tell anyone, I will murder you. And it looked like he had something on his coat. Maybe he was just trying to scare me, but I thought it was the end of my life. When he and, said that uh, to you, were you afraid? I was very afraid. The whole time I thought I was never going to get out of, out of life. When you were driving, after he had pulled over and did what you described, but before he said that if you say anything, I will murder you, what direction were you driving at that point? I think I, think I got the time frame mixed up because I think he turned around like he was going to go to apartments and it looked like he was going to go up there and I said, please, no, please, no, just take me home. So let me just ask you about the direction, okay? Uh -huh. So when he initially picked you up and was uh -huh. driving you to the point uh -huh. where he pulled over and did what he did, that you, uh -huh. everything you've described, uh -huh. was he initially driving southbound on El Camino Real to where it begins to bend no, westbound? No, he, he turned around, so it was... I'm talking about before the incident. Okay. So Before initially. he turned his car around. Yes. Okay, say that again. Was he driving southbound on El Camino? He first was driving southbound. And then afterwards, after he had turned around? It was northbound. Was he then traveling northbound? No, he field? just turned around. Okay. But after the incident, he turned towards like he's going to some kind of apartments. And he's like pulling up in there. I said, please, no, please take me home. And then, so he turned around and then started going northbound again, and maybe that's when he said it. I'm, nice. I'm confused. If you tell anyone, he didn't look, to, look at me. He said, I'll murder you. And what did you say in response to him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I said anything. I could have. I'm just Was there a point in time when you told him, please let me out? Um... <laughs> I thought he was going to drop me down in Encinitas. 
So what I, I told him to take me home. He dropped me off on the side of the road on Manchester. And what did he say to you? Just he, take all my belongings. What did he say to you when he pulled over on Manchester? I can't remember. Just take all my belongings. He told you to take all your things? Yeah. 